Yesterday was my shipping day and we had one axolotl leaving the shop, as well as over 50 bettas, but I didn't actually film the packing of those. So for this axolotl, I get them bagged up in these square bottom bags. And the water that I use for the bags is just brand new, cooled, chlorinated water that is the same temperature as I keep the axolotls. I rubber band these bags and then I double bag them. And I do get a lot of questions about the water air ratio. For shipping, I wanna provide the animal as much oxygen as possible in the case of a delay, which isn't common, but we like to pack for the worst and hope for the best. So we have enough water to comfortably have the animal fully covered in any orientation and position, and then the rest of that bag is gonna be air. Now we can get this little axolotl packed up into the box, I put in a box liner and then our axolotl, and then I pack the box with some other packing material to make sure it doesn't move around at all. And these are super nice, rigid styrofoam boxes, but we'll keep our animals safe and sound because these will not be crushed even if over 200 pounds is placed on top of them. And the really nice, the cantillation will also help with thermal regulation. Temps for this box did not require cold pack, so we just got him packed up and he was ready to go to the UPS office.